Social media has become the more widely used way the traffickers make initial contact with their victims. While there are stories where traffickers have kidnapped and held victims captive, it is more common today for them to use psychological means to lure, recruit, groom, and control their victims. Jordan, not her real name, grew up in a white middle-class suburb. From the outside looking in, Jordan had wonderful church-going parents who loved her very much. When she turned 16, her parents had thrown her a fabulous Sweet 16 party, inviting all her friends from church and school. They surprised her with a brand new car as her birthday gift. Although Jordan's parents were immensely proud of her, they were extremely strict. Despite the fact that she was an exceptional student with a 4.0 GPA, Jordan was given a curfew and required to inform them of her whereabouts. They also insisted that she get a part-time job to pay for her new car's gas and insurance. Like any other teenager, Jordan became agitated with her parents' rule and argued with her mom a lot. It seemed to Jordan that her mother became increasingly controlling by deciding what she could or could not wear. When Jordan bought a new pair of jeans from Old Navy, her mother insisted that the jeans were too tight and needed to be returned immediately. Jordan was concerned that she often disappointed her parents and did not want to be perceived as a bad girl. She just wanted more independence. On the day that changed everything, Jordan met her new friend Maria upon arriving at school. Maria had on the exact pair of jeans that her mother forced her to return. Jordan thought to herself that Maria always wore nice clothes and never had to worry about a curfew or strict parents. High school is supposed to be about having fun anyway. Jordan wondered why her parents could be more like Maria's. She was excited to have a new friend, and Maria seemed to truly enjoy hanging out with her. Maria was totally different and more exciting to hang out with than her church friends. Maria encouraged Jordan not to let her mother's strict rules get in the way of having the latest pair of jeans. Maria insisted on buying a new pair of jeans for Jordan as a gift to wear while at school and convinced her that her mother did not need to know. Although defying her mother made Jordan very uncomfortable, she decided to go along with it since she really wanted a pair of those jeans. Whenever Jordan would complain about her parents, Maria would convince her that she should not accept those stringent rules. Seeing that Maria did not have to be concerned about curfews and strict parents, Jordan wanted to be more like Maria. She was tired of fighting with her parents and believed that they did not understand what she needed and had no idea what it was like to be a teenager today. As promised, Maria bought not one pair, but two pairs of jeans and told Jordan there was no need to pay her back. Maria always had money and nice clothes, while Jordan was unsuccessful in finding a part-time job. Maria complimented Jordan on how well she looked in the jeans and said, doesn't it feel good to do what you want? Jordan agreed and admired Maria's confidence. Since Jordan really wanted to make her own money to buy what she wanted without her mother's input, Maria convinced her to come and work with her and her male friend. All you have to do is go out on a date with this man. You may have to fool around a little, but it's harmless fun. Mm -hmm.